Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. And it's now time to discuss trending topics on social media. We've invited our in-house social media correspondent, Buki November. So, Buki, what's trending today? Okay, so basically, well, hi. I hope you had a good one. Yes, <laughs> I did. Thank you. So, yeah, um, basically... Okay, Justin, <laughs> how was your weekend? My weekend was fantastic. Thank Can you, we move okay. on now? <laughs> sure. Okay, so basically, um, Rocha Sokoracha was um, on the... Well, he still is on the trend map, basically. Um, and that's because the, there was this hotel video. I think we'll just play real quick. Um, there was this video where he went to his wife's hotel um, that was closed, closed by the state government and then some quarreling and arguing and shouting happened while he was there. Um, okay, so yeah, that's the video on the screen. So basically, um, he's been detained, he was arrested and he's been detained right now, or he's been detained right now at the police headquarters in Imo State. Um, and basically, a lot of things happened. So the, the, story, the story I read on um, Premium Times reported that the hotel was closed. Well, the name of the hotel again is uh, Royal Spring Palm Hotel Oberi. It was still days ago um, on behalf of the Imo State, state government. And um, so it, was, it wasn't like it was sealed, just, you know, somebody just walked there to say that the government, they actually, there was, from what I read, there was a court case, the court ordered that the hotel be sealed because it was built on um, government-owned land without uh, permission from the government. Now, this person that, the, the person who owns this hotel used to be the governor of this same state. Mm -hmm. Now, the claim now is that the hotel was built on government-owned land without proper permission. Anyway, so that's basically the scenario. Okay. Yeah, so um, his aide reported to Premium Times that um, um, he tried to unseal the property and then they were, when they visited the hotel and then they were confronted by thugs who were armed with machetes and guns. I saw a video online where he came and he had people coming with him. So it was like he was coming to meet. It was like there was already battle and then he was coming to meet the battle with his mm -hmm. own team. You mm -hmm. understand? So there are different reports regarding this um, incident. But most people say, oh, he didn't come with, um, he didn't come, he, he wasn't armed when he came. He didn't come with people to fight anybody. He just came to the hotel. What did he come to the hotel to do to see whether it was sealed or not? Question not answered. Mm -hmm. Also, some people say, oh, he came there with the intention to unseal the hotel, even though it was locked, it was um, closed by government directive. And then there's claim also that if he came to seal the, if he came to unseal the hotel, then how come his own vehicles were vandalized? How come there were quarrels and everything? He didn't come with and any- And allegations that people were injured. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I even saw the, I, I, I can't show that on TV because it was really gory. Mm -hmm. There was a man, he had bloody shirt, his shirt was filled with blood and everything was filled with blood and everything. You get, so there are two sides to the story. There's a side that says he didn't come to quarrel. He just came to see whether the hotel was sealed or not. Then the people he met there, um, the way they were armed with machetes and gun, guns, and they were the ones that attacked him. One story. There's a second story that says he came with thugs to come fight them to unseal the hotel. You understand? Well, okay, so let's go to... Uh, I wonder why a governor would allegedly want to come with thugs. Would he actually want to go that, that low? Well, I mean, it is, this is Nigeria. You don't know. Like I said, again, we are reporting the story. We don't really know no. what happened because nobody... I saw the press statement here by his aide, but there were no... It, it's still two sides. There are still two sides to this story because the police, um, the police side of the story hasn't been told yet. They weren't... He did, they didn't release any statements stating what happened there. So you can't just hear one side of the story and then just... just and he's even it. claiming that the police arrested him and hasn't even told him what he's been arrested for. Yeah, I saw that part also. Well, of course... Um, comments on social media and i'd like to put out a disclaimer real quick these are not our comments they're comments from social media we don't have any side to the stories basically i was just reporting what people are saying so first off is shoggy and he says this is from twitter and he says rochas used his executive power executive um, effectively for eight years while he was trying to undermine the incumbent governor comma that's question mark you can't fight a sitting governor and win it is an exercise in futility. He ought to know better. better. Of course, this is his opinion. Yeah. And this is somebody taking, obviously taking side saying that, oh, they, they attacked. Um, he went there to fight um, the governor's um, directive. Yeah. This, also no. from, yeah, this also from Twitter says, this is an irresponsible act by a man who was once governor of his state and now said, uh, well, twice, and now senator. Okorocha, as governor, would 
wouldn't have tolerated anyone on sealing a property sealed by order or recommendation of a judicial panel of inquiry empowered by the law. Again, this just brings us to the question of us obeying the law in Nigeria. If there was, if there's a process, why don't you just go and follow the process? Really, process. we've been talking about this and why it seems that some people feel they're above the law in this kind of situation. Mm -hmm. You know, anyway, so more comments definitely from social media. And this, again, are just reactions. People reacting to this topic, basically. Um, another comment on uh, social media, he says, a lot, this is from Daniel, and he says, a lot of Nigerian politicians misbehave thinking they are above the law because of their influence within the country. This is sad. Leaders who ought to lead by example are doing the most... Um, taking laws into their own hands and most times get away with it because of corruption. God help us. Okay, so in this situation where you have a former governor going to unseal a building, so to speak, and there have been talks about, you know, him acting as though he was above the law. Mm -hmm. So would you be in support of the governor's action or the, or the actions of the police to arrest him? If, if their actions followed the law, if it is by, if this is what happens by law, when you do, when you... Constitu um, According to the police, they say he was constituting public nuisance. I mean, if the law says arrest someone constituting public nuisance, no, exactly and you can put that law. under pu public nuisance, then mm. nobody is above the law in this country. Nobody mm. should. Nobody be above should. The law. You, like you understand? This, like mm. you're saying, this is the way to go. Yes, if that's what the law says, you obey because, the because law. I saw some videos. It became very noisy. There was uh, some guy who was saying that, um, oh, well, you know, um, I, I can't. <laughs> It was also, I was just laughing, really, because it couldn't have degenerated to that level. Yeah, and most people also even said on social that there are bigger problems, you mm -hmm. know. Yes, tackle this, but then you guys should actually team up to solve the problems in this state. The fact that there's a hotel, it's built on government property, solve it in court. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, there's, there are precedents to this. Indeed. Go to court, but don't let this be the main focus. Don't start cursing quarrel or something, more problems in the state because you're trying to show power or something. Again, this, these are just comments from social. Telegrams. All right. Mm -hmm. I think that's the much we can take the, at this time, Booking <laughs> yes, November. Thank you very much for helping us, you know, Thank break you. down what's trending regarding politics and emo state. You're welcome. Well, that's my state, by the way. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yes, uh, we've come to the end of the, uh, the breakfast for this morning. It's been an interesting ride looking at what's, you know, topping the headlines today on our national newspapers. The biggest one so far has been that plane crash. You know, all seven people on board lost Bye. their lives, sadly. Uh, investigation currently ongoing. And then we went on to tell you what happened today in history and then to discuss other big issues. Including recession and uh, what we can do to double the that particular growth of 0.11%. Indeed. And yes, my name is Annetta Felix. And I'm Justin Akadonye. Many thanks for being a part of the show. All right. Have a great day.